I don't know. It just it doesn't have volume, and it, it if you know it just changes the way I look. I feel like that that uh, you know is what I'm looking for. Something to kind of not make me look like a, a, a wet noodle. <laughs> talked about uh, yours briefly and you were digging the length of taps so um, I think we'll just take off like a month's worth of, uh, of length which is about half an inch because you said you were digging a uh, digging what Absolutely. you had going on but we're gonna take that the size down no he's not a Windows fan man uh, he only he only likes uh, he only likes Linux Linux systems yeah that's above my pay grade um, yeah, so I uh, decided that we're going to go with like a, a mid-high skin fade. We're going to really be able to figure out how, uh, how much time you've spent in the sun lately. Yeah. Digging out cars from people's uh, barns and backyards. What was, your, uh, what was your latest find? Oh, the Forerunner. I found the Forerunner yesterday. Uh, I actually found it about two weeks ago and uh, finally made the chance to go and meet up with the fella and he had this wrecked guy just stuffed in a little kind of like fly-by-night auto warehouse strip. Sounds like my kind of my kind of cat. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, small world, I'd bought parts off him probably eight, nine years ago. Really, really neat guy. And uh, so it was kind of cool running back into that fella. And hopefully, as I was explaining to your friend here, I've got, you know, all these things that I, I just have needed to get done. And I'm at a point where, well, you know, I really needed that truck. I'm sure Brandon is really tired of just uh, giving me the keys to his Tacoma all the time. So I'm going to make that work, make the uh, project car work. And uh, over the next, what, eight, nine months that I have left in my lease, figure out if I'm gonna, you know, kind of build a business here or just grow my skill set until it's time to 86 myself. I'm trying to really kill it in life right now. So if you could kind of give me the uh, haircut that uh, the lady that killed Selena had. <laughs> those, are fighting words like, those, are, those, are, those are fighting words amongst us Mexicans, man. <laughs> yeah, don't say that in Corpus Christi, son. You'll be laid out in the Target parking lot. As you deserve, sir as you would deserve. So we uh, went ahead and uh, bolted the bottom part of the, uh, the head and um, grabbed my, my trusty old one and a half and just uh, taking off all this bulk. It's like a two and we're gonna ride that straight up because uh, yeah, like I said, we're, this is more of a mid-high fade and um, once we get some of this hair out of the way, we'll start connecting the two however believe it or not this look right here with the uh the huge line right here is actually going to be making it making a making it making itself known it's going to be a it's going to be a look oh, really totally going to be a thing yeah like i said if we if we stopped your haircut right now like you'd be you'd be all right in france Yeah, you and I are junkyard dogs, man. We always uh, yank stuff out of old rusty cars, and and uh, that is like the scent. That is the way to go, right? That, that black ice pine tree. Oh, it's horrible, yeah. Uh, that or the coconut. I had a coworker that would stack the coconut ones on there until it looked like like a grocery sack, just full <laughs> of like an old HEB sack that was just you know like sun faded. And it was just the coconut things that were sun faded, but you could smell his car from probably like an eighth mile away. He'd leave the windows like cracked in the summer and the wind would blow and you'd be working on something. It's like, <laughs> oh man, Amar just pulled up. Yeah, we're just working our way down step by step. I got my little half guard on here now, just polishing out those, those weight, weight lines. but I'm really, really, really just wanting to cut the whole front off so I can actually, you know, just pull the trigger by a tube bender and 
you know, that was learn. Sick. That'll be sick. Build mm -hmm. some cages. So right now I'm uh, I'm just looking at uh, the shape of the the previous haircut, and we're just gonna take off about a month's worth, which is half an inch. Like I said, you were digging the length, so I don't want to get too aggressive on it. Still leave you something to work with. And with that skin fade on the side, it should have a nice contrast to it. When's the last time you rocked a pompadour? You know, probably 1990, never. <laughs> oh, f I do kind of look like that guy from Fifth Element. <laughs> so I like to leave that length up front and have it blend into this back section of the head right here. So when he comes in back, it, uh, it'll blend in nicely. Still has a lot of length, a lot of options up here up front. Yeah, so we, uh, we started off with that, that mid-high skin fade, um, polished out some of the, uh, the lines at the bottom. Um, I left a little bit of a, a weight line around the perimeter just to, uh, to kind of see where this was gonna land. And now I'm just clipper over clone, classic uh, polishing move to make sure it all blends together. Get it nice and tight on that parietal ridge. I'm using a black comb because he's got lighter colored hair so I can see it a little easier. So I come through it and then use the, the shape of his head on the back of the comb right here and just help that guide me and prop up the hair and create a plane with the shape of the comb. So following the following this shape right here so that it's a nice natural flow to his to the hair line you know sitting on his head as opposed to creating too many sharp ridges that are not in uh, unison with his head unison I, I guess I'm making up a word I guess not the word itself but for this in this context the definition yeah I'm kind of worried pig's not going to recognize me Oh, pig, he's got a, a beautiful, beautiful pit bull. Cool, cool shot dog. What's his favorite uh, car to drive in? Ride along in? Any single one. <laughs> all the, all the, all the cars, yeah. As long as you're taking him somewhere. Yeah, it does not matter. I mean, he started off in the Mark II, and he, uh... How old is that? How old is Pig now? You know, I've had him for almost, it's, uh, it's been two and a half years, but I would reckon he was probably about four years old, three and a half when I got him, and I mean, that would explain his mild temper, and just, whoever loaded the software on that dog did one hell of a job. He's a cool dog, man. I mean, I didn't have to do anything but give him a little bit of love and some food. Yeah, my wife is uh, always trying to get me to buy her a Pomeranian. <sighs> yeah, and it's uh, there's super cute dogs. I love looking at other people's Pomeranians, but man, that dog needs to be mine in no time flat. I'd rather have a pig. Well, his you know, dog. You could, uh, I mean, you could learn to groom too. <laughs> I hear the hair's a little bit different, you know, so it'll be a little bit of a learning curve, but since you mastered the harder part of it. Yeah, give, a, give those Pomeranians like a little, a little ball fade. I mean, if you want to practice, I'll start trying to bite the clippers in a second. <laughs> it's funny you were saying that rat tail, actually, so I had a rat tail, dude. Of course you did. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> yeah, I think it was tied into a bowl cut of some sort, you know. It was, this was like 1991, you know, I was probably eight years old, just, just really trying to do it. And... Uh, I remember, I guess it just like, you know, there was one summer, I think, you know, went to school, you know, the next year and rat tails weren't cool anymore, you know, so we had to go get it cut. And I remember my dad saved it. My mom was mad. Oh, you did? I mean, if you don't have a fresh cut for your mug shot, what are you even doing with your life, right? That's what I always think when I see those busted magazines. Like, dude. The ones in the, uh, 
At the gas station? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not gonna lie, man. I've, I've spent more dollars on those than I've ever wanted to. <laughs> I didn't know that that many people enjoyed getting facial tattoos. You know, it's like they really frown upon you standing there at the line and just reading the paper. <laughs> yeah. Like when I was a kid, me and my dad would just sit there and read the car trader in the 7-Eleven. Maybe like, well, you don't even need to buy it now. You've just been here for the last 30 minutes. Like. Dude, I wasn't even going to buy one of those cars either. We're poor. <laughs> We're just killing time, man. Get some of that styling bomb. We'll just uh, lock this guy into place. Can, uh, hop on farmersonly.com now, make me a profile. <laughs> Dude, my ex's mother literally met her man on Farmers Only. This is the second one she met on there, right? Wait, is she a farmer herself? Because I no, feel like no, that's cheating. So, no, no, check this out. So she, her, her username, I think her, her birth year is like 1957. So she made her, her username Farm Girl 1957, right? And she gets on there, she dates this dude named Linroy that was just your typical Central Texas, just, uh, you know, dirt farmer. And, uh, Man, that guy, I've never seen him without a cigarette and a beer. And so at some point, their relationship went sour, and he told her, you ain't even no real farm girl. <laughs> like, that was the parting shot. And she came in and told that to my ex. And my ex like, well, you're not. Like, you grew up with a surfboard in Corpus Christi. Like, what, what made you think you were going to sell this to this guy? Like, he grew up in Gerald, Texas, and farmed dirt. You know, and she got all mad about that, too. It's like, well, dude, I mean, you're perpetrating it, you know. Just because you like animals doesn't mean you're a farm girl, you know? But now, yeah, but no, so now she's uh, on her second farmer's only relationship living on this chicken farm. And uh, that's just a whole... One of the can of worms. Oh man, yeah. Dude, they got some good spice of tenders. It's all about that T22, man. Dude, that T22 is fire. I love that place. The staff is amazing too. I've only been to the, I guess they got a second one now, right? Really? It's not like, yeah. Good for I, them. Yeah, I think, you know, the spiky hair, the pink express polo, you know, the- Were you a ball bearing, ball bearing or puka no, shells? No, no, I, I was, I actually had a like really big, heavy, flat bezantine made out of silver, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it really tied the room together. I'm about five craft beers away from starting a fight with someone. <laughs> Start smoking. The day is young. <laughs> the day is young. I can drink six by the time I get back to work. <laughs> this is Texas. <laughs> I'm a real farm boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show your mama. <laughs> Well, I asked for volume and I got it, you know? So um, I'm honestly pretty impressed that he was able to even make my hair do this. I've never seen my hair be able to uh, stand up without being, you know, spiked with any kind of gel or, you know, and, and he didn't use any aggressive product or anything. So um, I think moving forward, uh, I can actually kind of like get, you know, a decent haircut. Like I'm, I'm actually just really excited, you know? I, I'm, it's gonna change my look.